All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm also talking about more max effort tweaks that you can help implement into your program to make new strength gains. So, in another video, I talked about how you can mix up the rep ranges, whether it be a single, a triple, or a five, or anywhere in between. Today, I'm speaking about exercise rotation. Now, everyone knows in the conjugate method, you rotate exercises. Okay, this is basically something that has come from Westside Barbell. The conjugate method just means you are training speed, strength, and hypertrophy all at once. The exercise rotation, I believe, came from Westside Barbell, but I'm sure other places have done it before. It didn't just come from there. But some people get too carried away with their exercise rotation. Not only is it too big and they use too many exercises, they also switch them too frequently and there's no cohesiveness. For example, if your max effort work looks like this, one week you're doing seated shoulder press with chains, and the next week you're doing close grip bench press with reverse bands, and then the next week you're doing floor presses with straight weight. That is too dissimilar from each other. The whole point of Max Effort Day is to break previous PRs. That's how you know you're getting stronger without constantly testing, okay? So, here's what I like to do. Here's one option. For example, let's say you incline bench one week, straight weight. The next week, you can do maybe close grip bench press, but then your secondary movement can be either incline dumbbells or even incline barbell, whatever. And then the next week you can go back to some sort of incline bench pressing, maybe with chains, maybe with a pause. Now, what did you do? Each workout, you worked the incline motor pattern. So if your goal is to strengthen your incline, you just attacked it three different ways without constantly doing your incline bench as a max effort movement combined with rotating rep ranges and you have a very cohesive plan that doesn't just force you to go in and max out on your incline bench is much or sorry are much weaker than my back so the past two weeks i did sumo deadlifts with bands and then this past week i did sumo deadlift no band no chain no nothing and now the next week i'll do a squat variation and my main assistance movement for that day will be some sort of sumo lift at a lighter percentage to develop the hips. So I'm still working the sumo deadlift pattern without constantly having to max out with it. Or if you always want to keep it for max effort work, watch this. Let's just use the bench press, the flat bench press. One week, bench press. Second week, close grip bench. Third week, close grip with bands or chains. Fourth week, floor press. And then maybe afterwards you can do some close grip benching. So even though the first three weeks is all flat bench variations, you've changed it up just enough to give your body a different stimulus. People think rotating movements is like literally doing a different lift. A flat bench with your competition style, like your normal grip and a close grip bench, are two very different movements. Although they feel the same, they're just different enough to give your body a new stimulus. So, your homework, please write something in the comments about what your current max effort cycles look like. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share the videos with your friends if you think they'll like them as well. Don't forget to do your homework and drop them in the comments. And as always, class is dismissed.